One, two, three, one, two, three. La 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 la. Okay. I think we're all right. Everything here looks good. Wait for an audio check. Ba -doo -ba -doo. All right, we're going. Notification squad, I like it. I like it a lot. Thomas, I sing just for you, my friend. Just for you. <laughs> uh, I was YouTuber back in the day. Yeah, I know. It's been uh, a little while since I did live stream. I just got back last weekend. So this is the first live stream of me being back from vacation. Vacation was phenomenal. I highly recommend vacation to everybody. You should definitely do it. Uh, do you guys hear the fan too much in the background? I'm hoping not. If you don't, I'll continue. Otherwise, I'll turn one of them off. I just get hot in my office. Oh, my God. Where's a new toy at? There it is. Uh, back home. So I'm from Pittsburgh originally. So I went back there for a couple weeks. Oh, I didn't know I had it running twice. Oh, okay. So you can't hear it, but just not noticeable. Easy enough for me. Uh, yeah, I went home. Got to see the family, family reunion. Hang out with my, my brother for a couple weeks. See my sister's new house. So it was fantastic to go and see all that. There is a heat wave back in this U.S. I saw that. Actually, the day I left Pittsburgh last Saturday, it was 110. Um, and it hasn't been that high in any... I mean, that's just the heat index was crazy. So it was just insanely hot when I left. Where are you from, Thomas? I'll be angry if you're like the Pittsburgh area and you did not stop and see me. But you should have known that. You like watch all the time. My camera's a little bit crooked. Sorry. I left when the heat wave started. So that was nice. Well, God knows, because you live on the edge of the world. Not everyone lives up there. Oh, two hours east of the Berg. I was out that way because my sister built a house out near Harrisburg. So she's about 40 minutes, half an hour from Harrisburg. Excuse me. Um, so we were out there. We did like Hershey Park. Uh, we did the Strasburg train for my son's fourth birthday. Got to ride in a steam train, which was really sweet. So we had a lot of fun out there. You talking Celsius. I don't understand you. We're going to print out the blocks installed. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We've got to cut enough people in here. So while I was gone on vacation, the Tebow Tarantula Pro showed up. It actually shipped to my old address, which was funny. That's why it took even longer to get here. But this was sent to me by Banggood in order to do this. So I was happy uh, to start partnering with them again. This is my first re-partnership with Banggood. And... I've actually ordered, what I'm going to be using today is something that I ordered myself from Banggood and it is a little electric screwdriver which I'm super pumped about. It comes with 65 or 69 bits, lots of them. These are the common ones I'll be using today to actually build the printer. Uh, so I'm going to see, kind of put it through its trial. I did a little unboxing video but I haven't published it yet. It'll come out after this live stream. Uh, but I did a little... Um, little trial is what this is going to be, but that's just the unboxing video to kind of check it out. So, yes, a wow stick. That's what it is. Um, it seems to have a fair bit of torque. Uh, I just fully charged it, so we'll see how it does printing, or I guess assembling this printer. Now, the Tornado Pro, or Tarantula Pro, I'm sorry, this is the Tarantula Pro, comes exactly like the old one does. Let's not knock the microphone off the table again. 
Um, it comes just as the other one did, apparently, as this is a full kit. I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to be. It's been a while since I did a full kit, but it is what it is. Uh, you got it. I think I got it for 30 bucks, 35 did I knock that camera down there too? Because now you're like looking at my shorts. I don't like you looking at my shorts here. Hang on. Do a little bit of that. There we go. You don't need to see my shorts and my slippers because it's hot. Um, I also bought, uh, just as we're talking about it, I also bought this little Weeha kit. Let me switch cameras here. Um, so I bought this little Weeha kit. That has this is all metal kit. It seems pretty nice for what it is. Again, off Bango, this was maybe fifteen dollars, and the wow stick I think was thirty or thirty-eight. Um, it's got lights for it too, so I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. And I got a little bit of allergies. I took some medicine, so hopefully I stop sniffling very soon because it's super annoying, probably for you and for me. Oh man. All right, yeah, it's got lots of parts. All right, foam out of here. Oh, uh, so here is their, oh, it's that the same type of bed that the, uh, the Tornado has. So it's got the cutouts for the screws and it's that really smooth build tack surface. Here is the heated bed which is insulated. It's kind of in crummy condition, not going to lie. Probably because this box has been through a lot. But uh, this one right here is in pretty bad shape. So is this one here. But either way, as long as it works, it is insulated and it is using a cannon plug style connector. Here's the bed. I need to make some more space here. Got lots of extrusions. Got some 2020s and 2040 extrusions. Motors. Motor. Little toolkit. 512 gig SD, megabyte SD card. What the heck? Another motor. Here's the their new and improved extruder head. Take a look at this here. There we go. So we've got the dual uh, fans on here. It's crazy, their own heater block with a volcano style nozzle. See how, so the heater goes along the heat break here and that way it heats filament faster. So might be able to get faster prints out of this. I don't know, time will tell though. All right, we've got screws, 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 screws. More screws and screws and screws and screws and more screws. And okay, so they're using their own uh, clone Titan extruder. We've got some more aluminum brackets. I should say some aluminum brackets. Now we have some more aluminum brackets. This is the only assembled piece. So this is going to be part of the Z axis. So your lead screw will go through there. Uh, underneath, we have a sample of uh, 3D PLA pen filament. <laughs> and then underneath of this is... I wonder if I opened this upside down. I don't think I did. Maybe they packed it upside down. Get rid of that. We've got another motor. Here we have power supply with a aluminum chassis around it. It's a passive power supply, so there's no fan in it at all. And we have some ribbon cable. We have a acupuncture needle. More screws, more screws, 
More screws, more screws. Here is, I guess, the LCD screen. Doesn't look complete to me. There's a sticky part there. It looks like something's missing from it. Uh, yeah, the screen's missing. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the ribbon cable here is ripped. Look at this. That ribbon cable is completely ripped. The screen is missing from the front of this printer. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm honestly pretty heated about that right now. Bottom assembly. So they're using a different board now. They're using a maker base. So they actually have um, removable uh, drivers, which are nice. Stepper drivers. Hey, Branson, what's up? Um, did your monitor, did your screen come like this, dude? That's what I want to know. USB cable, here's the front plate. A bunch more extrusion. Whoop, there's the lead screw. Forgot they put that in there like that. We've got a putty knife, some tubing, and another plate, and here's the belts. Man. Man. I mean, I can assemble this, but I won't be able to use it because there's no damn monitor. There's no screen for it. Um, so, what do you mean like this? Uh, you missed it. So, if I zoom in here to there and I focus the screen is missing and this ribbon cable is torn to where it's supposed to connect to the screen the screen is sticky here where it should be stuck onto it there but it's not actually there it's not even in the box Kind of debating if I should even waste my time in building this. I guess I should, and then I'll just send Banggood a message and have them send me a replacement screen. Because I'm not shipping this thing back. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. I guess technically I don't need the screen to print. I can do everything via printer face. <laughs> and this recommendation very positive. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad because the tarantula was a pretty crummy printer. The tornado is amazing. Love that thing. This is just <sighs> not off to a good start, man. I do have the SK well the SKR board doesn't do anything for me if I don't have a damn screen. I have another one laying around that I could probably use. But anyways, I will build it and we'll kind of figure things out from there. I don't need the power supply right now. I'll set that down there. I'm not gonna need the front plate for a while probably. So put that down there. Um oh, I actually never I never pulled up there's no directions. 
All right, I guess I need to find a build guide then. Uh, so let's do TiVo, Tarantula, Pro, uh, Build Instructions. Instructions are with the screen. <laughs> uh, oh, this is going to be really hard to read. Oh, that's the original tarantula. Okay, that's not right. Pretty sure I did Tarantula Pro. The TiVo USA doesn't even have this on its website. All right, let's just go to Banggood. Banggood. Tarantula Pro. All right, there's, there's the kit. There it is. Click on that. Justin 3D, what's up? All right, so here's the seller page. Um, I didn't receive an adapter for my EU cable, as it says it's supposed to get in here. Go down, down. Uh, I'm not seeing a build guide anywhere or instructions. I probably should have looked this up before I started the stream, but I'm kind of a last minute person and I also thought it would be in the box. Um, someone's pinging me on Discord, so I think. Someone might be sending something. Put Gunner post on Discord. Okay, I gotta log in Discord here real quick. Go away. Not there. Yeah, Gunner, you posted the wrong one. You're useless to me. Yeah, YouTube doesn't let you uh, do linkies. Are you kidding me? Here's the newest one, maybe. There's a PDF. We might be getting somewhere. Ten minutes later. Here we are. Okay, I guess we're off to the races now. We gotta find out. So A1 bag, A1 slot. So I need not that piece. I need this piece and this piece and this is the bigger one. Or is the same one. 
This is bigger. Don't need that one. All right, what's already different? Because this has five holes and that has four holes. What the hell? Things are like different right off the bat. I don't, I don't get it. Does the that hole go on the bottom or the top? Hey Jonah, just gotten started. Brandon saying, which way do the holes go? Make sure, I mean, that is the only piece that has those four holes in it. I don't understand what the fifth hole is for. What do you mean depends? This piece has five holes. The diagram has four holes. Okay. Well, it's they're stupid then. Ugh. Angers me. It's too better increased drag. Awesome sauce. Alright, well, we're gonna need this and I've got all this junk here in the way, so I guess I need to make some space oh, and find the AO1 bag. There's three. There's B, B, A2, A1, B2, all B stuff, B, 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 B. Get that out of here. A4. Alright, so A1. Alright, we're using the 45s. Four of them. Where are we in at? Alright, so you go this way. And you go this way. See what happens with this thing. Oh, that's not a big enough bit. Hey, um, I think that's the biggest one in this set here. Let me find my other ones. There we go. Let's try that again. Hmm. Under shabby. Hmm. I'll take it. Look at that, part one done. Hip hip hooray. All right, now we're doing. These with a T nut. I guess it's just more bit. Yeah. 
They do not give you a whole lot of space there for that, do they? Is this all going on the same side? I'm guessing so. fit. Oh, of course, I'm missing my other one. Dang it. I think I've done this before or something. Maybe you think I haven't. Because I'm striking out on these bits. one here do 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 For some reason, that one is not uh, big enough. Where's the tool bag at? Did I throw it somewhere? Oh, there it is. work just for feet. Good gravy. No, I was supposed to put lock washers on those other ones. Eh. I think it'll be alright. Beat, 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 put the beat on. There we go. Oh, man. All right. Flip you over. Like so. And look at that. We are, we have a base frame hot dog. No, my table's not straight, guys. This is like a cheap Walmart table. All right? It's what fits in this space, so leave it alone. All right, so then now we got to get this piece. And that goes on there like so, huh? Three, four. 
This thing definitely doesn't have a lot of torque to it. I didn't really expect it to either, but uh, there'll be some room for improvement there. But it gets it 95% of the way in. And I can kind of just torque it down. Uh, I'm only getting like a little more than half a turn. All right, there's the base frame. Hot dog. Oh, well, of course, now we're going to do the screen that's broken. Um, yeah, Brandon, I will um, in a few get a little bit more of this done. Um, and you know what? I'm pretty sure these are backwards because if the uprights are going to go on this, I'm going to have to swap those around. Let me look here real quick. I take all this apart right now. Yep. So that's fun. I gotta take all this apart. Or wait, can I leave this like this? I can leave this like this. I just gotta turn the feet around and screw this in from the other side. If that'll work. <laughs> he did the same thing. That's funny. Because they don't tell you orientation at all. I do like the light. It's a little on like the bluish purple side, but I'll take it. Let me make sure these actually thread in before I go do anything else. Yeah, they do. Okay. Slip the feet around after this. Put you in all the way. There you go. Maybe we'll leave the feet like that. It looks cooler that way. Makes it look more like a bug. Or an arachnid, I should say. Or a bug. Oh, there it goes. Oh. There's that, there's that. There's this. Yeah, this thing really got roughed up in shipping because, like, this extrusion is all jacked right there. All right, now I can put this back on. Um, there is a link somewhere. I will have to post it unless, um, hey, Brandonson, can I make you a moderator so you can post links? 
And if you could link the Discord, that would be a huge help to me, my friend. Oop, just like I dropped that. All right, let me let me do that real quick. Uh, I think I did that from the YouTube page here. Add moderator. Cool. Can you put a link to the Discord, please, Fran? Okay, I grabbed. And then, where's the other foot at? Oh, it's right there. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So my Discord kind of ebbs and flows. It's not like super active, but there's a group of people that are in there pretty much every day. I try to be in there every day. I heard somebody join. Just gonna retighten these one more time. Okay, now I can go back here to the directions. Refresh that page. Back here directions. Where are we at now? All right, now they want me to add the screen. So I'm not going to add the screen because it's broken. So I got this. And we're using the A2 bag. So we're done with A1, we're on to A2. I just need these in four by sixes. So one, two, three, four. I need the four of those. I'm gonna put all these back in because this is all the hardware for the screen. And I will not be putting the screen on. Should be easy enough to attach later on. I hope these screws are gargantuan though, my goodness. I don't think they should have used M5s instead of M4s, that's what they drilled them for. I mean, this is a very nice looking bezel. It is definitely super dupe. I mean, like, this is crazy thin. Eighth, eighth of an inch aluminum. Very, very lightweight. Come on. There we go. Oh, we're not actually putting it on yet. We're just doing that. All right, that was stupid. <sighs> Anyways, are you gonna go to the A3 bag? Got more parts in it. Tools is trash. A3 is trash now. All right, so we're gonna prepare this. So here we're getting this. We're doing a was it, M4 by 25, so that, that, spacer, 
One flange bearing, two flange bearing, and a lock nut, which uh, didn't work. All right, so let's get out some pliers, my handy dandy drill. Why does that not fit? Why does that not fit? What in the world? Why does this business fit? That's a three millimeter. That's two point five millimeter. That's why I'm using the wrong bit. Hold, insert, start. There we go. Hmm. Can't really go through a lock washer very well. Or a lock nut. That's alright. As long as it stays on there. Okay. So that's on there. And then we have, so from this side, we have one. And a T-nut. I really appreciate the like 80% kits now compared to this nearly 100% kit. Or I should say a 0% kit because a lot of the new ones, new printers now come like 80% pre-built at least. Where this, it comes to 0% pre-built or like maybe 5%. All right, so that's done and out of the way. And then, oh, this bracket here is what I need. So, guessing it's one of the smaller motors. So, you go like that. Plate goes on there. And then, these all go on. The bit for them. So at least I can do most of the the driving with the little mini driver and then just do the final tightening with an Allen wrench works out well I guess do, do, do. okay and now all of these get I guess I put this on now uh, how much space I guess we'll just leave space like that. You can always adjust it later. And now for T-nuts. One, there's two, and there's three. Okay, that part's done. Right, bed carriage. All right, so let's set all this to the side as that stuff is ready. And we're doing B. BO2. BO. Yes, I'm a dad and I'll be here all day. Just take a chat real quick. Oh, that is for some reason 
focus down there. Why are you focused down there? Let me pull this up a little bit. I gotta readjust here. Yeah, it should be all right. All right, is that good? It's good enough. All right, so I definitely need a second screen here. The bed, what do we do with the bed? It's down here. All right, so here's the bed. And from here, we're doing these move like the spacers in them and they moved so then screw into the wheel into a spacer that's going down into here and the two okay this will go in the back here then and then we put on the lock nut which, but of course, won't do the job. Pliers. on there so make sure that it still yeah still spins freely all right now for another screw just do a spacer back here lock washer pain ensues God, this is tedious. Do this in the freaking factory. It's 2019, TiVo. Pliers also suck. Uh, do these do any better? Too small. I need to go get my bigger Weeha. Ah, left it down in the in the SLA printing room. This is torturous. Probably both for you guys and for me, because this is the most riveting stuff on YouTube right now, I bet. No one's doing anything cooler than me struggling to screw in this stupid bolt. Oh, okay. Now the other ones are so we're going to go into the wheel a spacer and then the eccentric nut and then in and then lock one Let's do the other one right now so that I don't make myself super angry so that so spacer Centric nut goes in and I lock. Let's see if I can do this in less than five minutes. Oh wait, I have this. I forgot. I bought this not too long ago. This Weha set here. Um which one of these is going to work? This one. 
is a Christmas present to myself. This is like an actual grip, so this should be better. Oh my god, yes. Totally forgot I even had this. Spins nicely and just to slide it on like so. Super loose, but it's on there. Doesn't feel too bad. Let's tighten these uh, real quick. Oh, there we go. Well, that's rock solid now. Yeah, that feels good. Okay. So now that's done. Install the x-axis. Um, Where's that one at? It's motor bracket end stop. Where? Oh, the great big jigglies is that? Right here, it looks like. Okay. So I guess it's either one of these two since they look identical. So that's and a T-nut. That goes where? Whoa, they got other stuff installed on here. Hold up a second. This is already installed. They didn't install that earlier. Oh, there it is. I told you to put it on there there. Oh, okay. End of, no, I'm on the wrong end of it. That's why. I put this all on backwards because they have it going like this. This way. Okay, so then now I can put this on. Lines up with that, and then where'd the end stop go? The end stop goes mm, like that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to install the motor bracket, which is going to go this way. Let's use this thing again, make my life easier. All right, so I'll tighten it down with this.
Something fall? Oh, I dropped a bolt. Oh. Uh, actually, I didn't line that up right. Okay, so then they switch the view to this. And then they wanted me to get one of the belts out. What was that here? They are one. Oh, so, all right. So they want me to do it. That what? Double zip tie. All right, so we're gonna go that way. We're gonna go in this way. This is gonna be hard for you guys to see. I could do it the other way though. I'm gonna do it. No, I'll do it this way so the teeth get together. Maybe. There he goes. Some zip ties that. Really wish I could have music on right now that wouldn't get me a copyright strike. Zip tie. Another zip tie. Okay. So this goes up, goes around here, goes around here. Wow, these belts are long. I guess I should um, pull this in a little bit. And then now tighten it up as tight as I can. to get two zip ties on this thing. Snips. Turn that off. Say trim it down now. Okay. So that's pretty much trash now. I 
can go ahead and move this back a smidge, tighten, finish, tighten this up. Alright, I don't like it, it's janky, but you know what, so be it. Now we're going to do the control box, huh? Alright. Uh. Alright, so we're going to flip it. Flip it real good. Like that. And it goes like so. Using... Using this and a tea nut. Ew, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it goes in that hole. Alright, so there's that. What holds the rest of it in? Oh, what bag are we into now? It doesn't say. A1, A2, A3. We're not in A4 yet. B2 and B3. Uh, B3. I don't know. Is this part of it? Man, I gotta say, these directions suck. My god, these directions are bad. These two longer ones are what it uses. for the wobbly table. Somebody's bound to bitch about it. Okay. There's the control box on there now. Whew, making a little bit of progress here. Right, and then now, I flip it back over this way. Looks like the power supply gets installed on the opposite side of the printer. Make sure this is correct. I don't know. I think there's some cables in the way though. Thanks, Tom. Um, eight. All right, so I'm gonna put. Will you stay there? Mm, maybe. I don't know what hardware we're using for this. Is there M3? 
M5 by 8. There's no M5 by 8 mils here at all. So it must be a different bag. Um, it's not B4. Not A4. We didn't get into there yet. Or did we? Is this for it? I don't know. What's A4 for? B1? No, that's for the uprights. B2 and B3. I used B2 and B3. Yeah, B3's gone. This is B4 and B4-1. Um, there's two of them in here. All right, I'm kind of stumped, guys, for a second here because I don't know where this is supposed to get these screws from for this part. A1, A2, A3. I used all those. Those are done. Those are dead. Those are what's left over for the screen. Those are all on the floor here. And it's B2 and B3. And I used B2 and B3. They're all out here as well. Are they in with the heated bed? That would be a negative. And they use 3D printed wheels. Interesting. There's all this junk for that. Uh, Brandon said, where did you find the PSU mounts at? Hi, Jimmy. I see salute, uh, but I don't see anything other than that, Jimmy. I don't understand the rest of that. All right, so I need some M5 by 8 low profile screws with TNS. There's some here in A4. It's going to use them, I guess. I don't know. They're going to have to do. Maybe these are it because these were super long and I don't think these were right. I'm going to pull these out and do something different. And this thing does not have a lot of torque. It was really not meant for doing this. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. Set those aside. Those are for something else. I'm supposed to use these here, I'm pretty sure. So there's those. I'm going to take these and put them on a PSU.
Looks like they made an attempt to try and keep all of the wires pretty much contained. All the except for what's underneath there. But uh, there's a... Let me keep this out so I can actually get to it. Got control panel in, got the power supply in now. Uh, now there's a slide on the front panel. That's easy enough to do. Oh, that's what happened. Um, that's where that bolt came from. It came from the front plate. So where did the T nut go? Sorry, one second. There it is. Because I didn't put them in all the way. There's another one because I didn't put it in all the way. Come on, man. Threaded you a little bit. You should at least stay on. should have put those feet on the inside because the feet are in the way. I guess I should do that real quick. These feet being on the outside are in the way. Okay, now that those are out of the way, try and move this power supply back a smidge because I like the way it's sagging. Try and sandwich that against that piece there. It's very different on this build because having the, the Y motor up front is definitely a change. Very, very different in that respect. In the with the, the Z being so far back, 
It's a little strange, in my opinion. <clears throat> All right, well, where are we at here? Hey, Ben. All right, now we're going to put the bed on. So, let's get the bed. We got surface on right now. So we're gonna go with bolt, spring, into the hole, and these are those 3D printed wheels that it comes with. Which is interesting that they went with that because Tiva's a big company. They're not small, and Creality now has injection molded super large wheels on their printers now, which is very nice, I have to say. Like, they are very nice to use. I'm surprised that TiVo did not follow suit. First, otherwise I won't be able to get to it. on there and that's that hey Ron yeah it is quite the project it's kind of annoying all right so now I need this bracket like so I need the have the lead nut in there and then we have which ones are we using? These are M3 by 12s. So these ones with a lock washer on them. And oh, it's not threaded. Oh my good gravy, TiVo. I have no idea where that went. <sighs> okay. It might have went into the nether. That is the floor of my office. Uh, that's right, I have more. I'll find another one later. Like they really cheaped out on not doing a lot of this in the uh, like in their production facility. Really cheaped out on it. Okay, if two and a half doesn't fit, why isn't the three fit? Oh, here's two and a half. That was a two. Okay. So now to get all of these in. Spring. Spring washer. The nuts. Oh, I'm gonna oh, I'm lost another one. Oh, there's the other one. I found it. There she blows. All right. Stay there. Don't move a muscle.
Okay, that part's done. And then I'm going to mount this on the rail, which is this one. Ah, it's this one. Oh, no, it is this one. It's in there like so. Using uh, these ones, the M5x15s. That's what those are for. Is that going the right way? No, it's not. You go this way. Of course you would chain. One and two. little bugger here and you oh okay so we need to put another motor in here so put this going down okay so motor slips into there like so and then this bracket goes right there like so go gravy and then Three by tens. So this one right here, goes all the way down into there. There it is. The other one. So this is how they put the bracket right on there with it. It's very interesting. Almost seems wrong, but let's get the pulley on here. The pulley clears it, okay. I don't think the pulley would clear it. So let's get this. Oop, this one here. Try and line this up with the opening. Get the other one on. That seems good. And then we've got these last two itty bitty ones to put in. This will probably definitely be where our stepper damper goes later. To make my life a little quieter with this machine. All right, so there's the motor and all that jazz on there. All right, so we're going to set this down. Because we're done with that for the moment. Now we're going to do the right side and hot end assembly. So this is B04. Excuse me. So this requires another piece of aluminum that. Oh, it's green in the picture, but it's not in here. Okay. So, and it's bent a little more. All right. So we're doing bolts through. We're doing this. Spacer on each one of these ones. One. That's not the right size spacer. That is. Mm. 
You, you are absolutely joking me, right? This spacer's too small. Wow, really? This spacer is too small for this M4. That is almost comical, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Let me go find a part real quick. I'm gonna see my mug get really close. Alright, move that. Hi. Alright, so spacer, spacer, spacer. There's bearings, bed leveling nozzles, washers, set screws, standoffs. I might have to try and drill this one out. These nylon ones are too big. This is almost comical. So let's get out the drill bits. Oh, I have one of the container here of standoffs, or I should say spacers. Also too big. Some leftover stuff from the Delta build. Oh my goodness. So I need to try and drill this out. I wonder if that'll work. Way too big. Way too big. That just fits. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, wait. There we go. Let me put that part out. Still doesn't fit. Ah, cripe. All right, what size is this? We'll go one size bigger. It's 11 64ths. So, that would make 13 16ths one size bigger. There's the pliers again. Oops. Oh, my battery's dying. You're killing me here. I don't want to go and get a real drill. Come on. I'm like halfway through. Come on, almost there. I don't use that drill very often. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of um, force on this, I guess, right? That's what you do. If something doesn't go the way you want to, you force it. Nope, that's not working at all. Forcing it's not an option. Because it's still not big enough, and I am mauling that thing. All right, so what's another option I have here? Whoa. 
Uh, Gunner, I don't know how to do it. I tried figuring that out. A bigger hammer, yeah. Uh, ben jacked what up and installed a Prusa. I have two. I have my I have my Prusa that I bought, and then I have the my i3 Mark III clone that I made. Uh, does my other battery have any juice in it? Probably not. I think this other battery is bad. Yeah, this battery's nothing in it. Ah. There's no spare spacers. All right, I'm going to have to get ingenuitous here with some washers, I guess, in order to match the size of this one. See, this, this one's a little bit, it's for an M5, but it should, might work. Let's try this one out here. Maybe that'll work. All right, so that's trash. I missed, that's why I don't play basketball. All right, well, back to the drawing board here. So that, and then wheels. Last one in. So it's, oh, it's going from the other way. Let's bolt this wheel, and then a spacer, and then eccentric nut. Go through from this side. That's very interesting. All right. Get all these in here now. So I think Brandon, you said that your wheels were jacked. Mine are look pretty good. At least the uh, the ones on the Y felt pretty good. you're going in there there we go you're too good for your home okay one two all three spin freely okay oh, where was I I got this it's facing this way this slides on like so it's pretty loose so let's tighten it up now if I have to do it later with the wrench where did the wrench go that's fixed okay that's fixed into place now now we're going to get out the idler bracket She's going to be B401. Now, 
they did a horrible job of bagging these things too because stuff is just not in the right places so this one gets an eccentric here so it's that and then an eccentric and a washer spacer I should say and a wheel and then a nylock and then those two are just spacers. So that goes into this one up here. That, oh, and then a spacer. Wheel, nylock. We go down to the bottom. Here, spacer, wheel, nylock. Tighten all these down now real quick. We're getting there. We're going to get the upright, uprights up soon, I think. There's that one. That one. That one. One, two, and three all spin well. Uh, and then, okay, now we're going to do the... So it's holding it. Like this, and then he's going this. We have the two pulleys, one, one, two of bearings, I should say, and then another spacer. There's no more spacers. <gasps> Maybe that one's for this. Oh, hold up. Maybe that's what it was. The wrong spacers were in the wrong bags. Where'd that fall to? Where did it go? Here it is. Oh, that's what it was. Stupid thing. The spacers were in different bags. Those were M5 spacers. This is an M4 spacer. God, I could really just shoot somebody there. This hole is tapped. That goes on the other side. That seems super silly. But okay. There's that now. And that gets put on. Hold this up like this. Oh, it goes on with T-slot. So this one. Right here. This is also like the, this is the craziest. They put the idler and the Z carriage together on one thing. So it makes it weird because then you can't, the only way to tension it is through the motor. You can't tension the, the idler at all. Maybe I'm the only one that finds that odd, but I find it odd. And I can't get my screwdriver into that hole. Okay, so we'll set this to the side now. I'm going to put up the Z extrusions now, which don't look they have any which way to go. It looks like it doesn't matter. So I'll just turn you on your side. This is using which ones? I'm going to guess this is, well, it says BO4, and then we go to the SBO7. Okay, I'm going to guess this is BO1. Okay, that's not it. Okay. God, these directions are absolutely awful. Switch 
out the electric bit. I'll just go a little faster. This thing at least it makes it a little bit faster to put in the bolts. It doesn't help with uh, torquing them in, but at least it makes this part easy. I know uh, Joe Mike has one that he uses, um, but it was like I don't know a hundred dollars or something like that, and I just couldn't come to spend that kind of money. If Weha had one, maybe I would do that, but as far as I know, they don't have one. I use their tools all the time at work. All right, so there's one. Put this over. Right, now that stands on its own. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Probably should put the screwdriver on charge while I'm between uses, ah, just for kicks and giggles. All right, we've got the uprights on now. That's exciting-ish. All right, there's that. Now we're going to put this top piece on like so. Shabam. Let's get all these screws ready. So one, two. Three, four, Oh wait, I forgot to put that on. Yep, I'm an idiot. I gotta put the carriage on first. Okay, set that there you on. Oh, they won. That's really the route they're going to go. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, hey. Thank you, Lorinsky. I was like, what was that noise? 20 bucks. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Kit builds going rough. Not going to lie. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, but it, it's, a little, it's a little rough at the moment. Um, the order of operations is a little bit weird. Not going to lie. And... Well, that, don't do that, Shane. Don't do that again. That was just stupid.
which oh, I need a bigger bit in here. Oh, money. That's the exact one I need. That's on. Hooray. Actually, I don't feel much. They feel pretty tight on both sides. Oh, I guess we do have. Oh, yeah, we do got some motion in there. Oh, where's the wrench? Where's the wrench? Oh, there it is. Whoops. Oh, this wrench is kind of garbage. Because it's... Um, I think this one fits. Yeah. Alright, so this is tighten on this side now. Wait, what? How? Wait, did I? Are you kidding me? Did I really screw that up? I think I put the eccentric nuts on wrong. How did that happen? Seriously, how did that happen? How in the world did I screw that up? Where do I put that together at? Oh, I didn't put it together. That's that's oh, that's how they have it. There's two eccentric nuts on this axis here. Okay. I think I need to. Loosen up under here a little bit, give it a little breathing room. That's better. It's a little, it's a little toy. That's pretty good now. All right. So I didn't screw up. Where am I at now? All right. I think it's saying that the, 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 the directions are so screwy.
Like, why would I put the, the lead screw in before I put the motor on? I don't get it. I'm going to put the motor on now. I'm guessing that's Big Papa here. Unless Big Papa was supposed to be one of the other... What? Like, it doesn't say... So, Brandon said, do you know which one the big motor goes? Oh, main camera is frozen. What happened? Hang on a second. Um, this one's still okay. There we go. Okay. Thank you for that. Thanks, Ron. Um, Brandon, are you still there? Because I don't know where does the big motor go. Mm, wonder if there's any... Uh If anybody knows where the big motor goes, I'm all ears, because I don't want to continue until I figure this out. You don't say. Well, I guess if I download the PDF, I can search the PDF. I can't search this way. Are you kidding me? Why can't I? Should that be the Z? I guess it could. It'll 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 fit there, I guess. So I guess I'll do it. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I see you, Gunner. There's nothing I can do about it, brother. That's just what it's on right now. So, big old motor. Nope, that's a small motor. Big old motor. We got this like that. We're using trim for countersinks. Countersunks. Ooh, those are Phillips heads. Ooh, I have a Phillips head here. Okay, that's enough of that. And then we're using M4 by 2s. Oh no, by 12s. 
these ones here with a T-nut. Well, it's interesting that this is on by T-nuts because a lot of the other builds, they just screw directly into the, the frame. Gunner, are you watching me on your TV? Okay, that's on there. Now we're going to do the coupler. I want you to put an O ring on here. Never done an O ring on this before. This supposed to help keep it from slipping, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's get this. Nope, that's too small. That's too big. Where's the other Allen wrenches at? Here it is. That's a little more space than that, I guess. Right about here should do. One, two, and then I gotta get the lead screw open. I can't find anything to say where it goes, so I'm going to put it, I mean, if someone reads through the directions again real quick, and if they see it, great, let me know, but uh, I'm going to just put it here on the Z, and I hate when they do this. They, like, saran wrap the stupid screw. Yes, I know it keeps it clean, but... Or put, like, a tab on it so you know where to grab it from. You think, Gunner? Man. I really 
should matter in modern printers. I mean, they're all, I mean, hell, they're all pancake on the under three. This is so freaking annoying. There we go. Oh, let's focus on the back. Okay, I just do it this way. Wow, wow. Let the ball head go. There, is that better for you? And of course, this is not going in at all. Why are you not going in? Oh, there it goes. Bring it up just a smidge. Let me see here real quick. I might be able to figure this out. Kind of either way, I think you're right because I don't know how this attaches, but however it does, if it if I center it on that, it is not anywhere near the bed. And the bed is not tightened down whatsoever. So let's remove it. Well, this actually, this is not oiled at all. My hands are not oily whatsoever. So I'm going to have to figure out some kind of oil or grease to put on this because it's completely dry. So we're gonna say put the big motor on the Y and not the X.
All right, so let's loosen up this back bracket here. Where is uh, loosen tension on the belt? Don't fall off, please. And then and I'll loosen up this front plate just a smidge. Okay, just like that, so that I can now get to. These you know what gunner I don't actually that motor's not gonna fit there. Oh it'll just fit there. Like just let me well, the extruder already has the uh, it already has the gear on it, so that's not that. Let me look here at the instructions again and see if it says which motors to use. So motor. Oh, it is for Y, I think, because it's with the Y parts in the beginning of the document. So, I guess that is it. Take out the pulley, which if I put on there to stay on there. I'm gonna get a snack soon because man, I'm getting hungry. That just barely clears the floor. Tighten up. Oh, I gotta do these. This one by hand. Prep this one to go on the Z.
почему вы... Let's just give separation. Okay. All right, we're getting there. Now we can put this in. Okay, there's that. <sighs> well, no, um, Gunner, because when I put it on there, the carriage hits it because it's so low. But if I do this now, I actually can get the Z to the print bed. So that was, uh, but again, when I looked at the drawing, it was by itself as a larger motor in the picture with with the Z, so I left it at that. I'm fine with it. We'll see what happens. So now I got to put on the extruder, it looks like. I think that's what these long ones are for. Should take a little screw first. Oh, it should. Right there. Okay, a little bit bigger than this one. This back on here. Whoops, nope, I gotta put this part in first. And this goes back on here with the smaller bit. And now one, two, and two.
Oh, there it is. All right, there's the extruder on there. I'm going to do the X belt, looks like. So I got this. And... Okay. Pass it through. Put this so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh, no, they don't have it going that way. No, they have it going under the thing. All right, so it's going back under here. That wheel. There's like no adjustments for this whatsoever, except for the motor. Do -do -do -do. We'll bring that all the way in. And then we'll just try and get it as tight as I can. One more little bit forward. It's as tight as I can get it right there. I need some time. Come on. really really hard to do actually now I appreciate all those pre-made cables from Creality all of a sudden or the pre-made belts I should say and then I need to switch these ones around because they're in the way so I'll do them one at a time Closer than that. So 
that one. Okay, now we can one, two, three, and four. And then there's the belt. All right, and we make it, and we hit the end stop. Sweet! Now I will. Tighten the motor a little bit. Your Discord blinking at me. Who's is it? Oh, we're buffering and dropping. Oh yeah. It might be the wife. I don't have anything going. Let me go check with her real quick. Hang on. Are you downloading? Okay. Nope, it's not her. Sorry if it's buffering. I don't know. Um, she's not doing anything different. I'm not doing anything different. So I guess it is what it is at this point. I'm already, what, two hours and two and a half hours into this. So. All right. So the Z axis end stop is here. Let's go ahead and attach this now. No, stop. Put that on there. I don't know where. It doesn't say where to. Oh, 100 from, I guess, the bottom? I don't know. I'll do it later. I'm not really that worried about it. Oh, the hot end. That's what that plate's for. Really? That's what this hawk's on to? Interesting. All right, that is what that's for. All right, so how's this going? There's two M3 by eights, which are these right here. And two. Okay. And then we can use one, two. There's got to be some more screws here somewhere. I guess not. Three. Three, oh, there's four. All right. Make this work. All right, let's get the hot end connected up. All the wires go in that little hole right there. Where'd it go?
Okay, there's a hot end on there. And that's it. They don't tell you anything else. Oh my goodness, that's quite hilarious. That's where the directions stop. Next is just bed leveling. So, all right, now we're going to wire this up, I guess. It's just kind of hilarious that they just stop on you. Okay, these Bowden tubes are the same size. So we'll put one into here. Oh, I put that on back. You, why did nobody notice this? I put the entire Struder assembly on backwards. You can tell how long it's been since I put a Titan on a on a printer. Wow, that was just brilliant, Shane. Absolutely brilliant. Take that off. Take this out. Okay, golly gosh. That's fine. This goes like this. And then there's the plate. Back in there. Turn this around. Why aren't you going in now? Oh, it's because I'm not even using the right bit, so it's not even in the damn hole. Okay, now I can put this in, like so. Absolute genius, Shane. Put some zips on here. Oh, there's a hole in the there's a hole in the carriage here, so that's sweet. That's for the for this zip tie to go through here and hold on to the cable. That's nice. Put that underneath there. There we go. That is nice. I like that. I'll put one more on there, just for giggles. Okay, so we've got that cable managed. 
Let's put this on its side now. This is the bed, which goes into this one. Snips. I mean, everything is labeled, but it's still a little hilarious that they gave you zero wire instructions. I mean, absolutely zero. Doesn't fit back in there. So we're just going to do like that. What's this single cable? This is the Y motor. is super long for no reason so we're going to tidy that up okay And then we've got the Z end stop, which is right here. We've got the Z motor, which is right here. Actually, I might, uh, did I just break? No, I didn't, okay. The Z motor, I'm gonna take it out of this other lot over here if I can fit it I'm gonna say it's probably a not going to be able to fit it oh, wait wait for it I did yes victory all right, move all these out of the way Z here, that just looks a little bit better. So, have the Z motor in there then. Z end stops in there. We've got the X motor. Right there. We've got the Y end stop. Which, yeah, you're not going to fit that way. <laughs> we bundled that. I actually don't know how they expected that to... That won't reach any which way, so I'm going to have to cut that out. Right, I guess I'll do that right now. Right. Boop. Alright, so now the Y end stop can reach. I don't know. I'll figure out something for that cable here later. Just do that for now. And then we should have X and stop. And then we have the E motor. Good. So I'm gonna pull this all the way to the top so I can cable manage this a little bit. high as it's going to go. So then we have here Is that the right one there? Yeah. I don't know what this last one here is for. Oh, Stir to the bed. Really don't know. I really don't like this wiring setup. I'm gonna say that right now. Not in the slightest. Like this just makes it. A couple more zip ties. I'm a little zip tie crazy guy.
and get some more zips. Need to be able to pull this stuff up out of the way. Let's see how that looks. I think that'll do. There is a way to kind of take the pressure off that, but there really isn't, so so be it. This is twisted though, I don't like that. A little OCD with cable management in a build. Probably shouldn't be, but I am. I also don't like how these wires cross right here. We've got the bed on that side and you got this. They should have been swapped so the bed has the shortest path right there. Um, which I guess... Fixing that would be a little difficult at the moment unless I take all those connections out, which I'm not going to do right now because that is far too much work. And I've given this printer enough of my life so far. So I'm going to pull back in these cables. I'll zip tie this here. Do one more here. I should give all that enough space. I might end up tubing this later. And then I need to zip all of these inside here. How to manage your 3D printing cables by Shane. Be super OCD about it. But no, I think that'll be, as long as those stay in there, you know, I'll just put an ugly one in there just to kind of like bow tie all this junk together. There. It's not purdy, but it keeps all the cables from hanging too low. up and should be able to hook this up to the printer and see if it works so another TiVo speciality no um, spool holder so they are pretty notorious for that the it was like the one downside of the tornado was that it didn't come with a spool holder I mean, of, of all the things to be cheap about, why be cheap about your a spool holder? So, let's see, what else do we... Just tells us how to level the bed next. Comparing slicer software. Yeah, preparing, preparing, preparing. Troubleshooting. Okay, and all that business. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. The, like the pro with this, I think it's the 24 volt bed is like their their plus side. Um, let's see if I can get this protective layer off, and then I can get the actual bed sticker on. Like, the Ender 3 Pro is a joke. It really is a joke. So, 
Where's that sticker at? Oh, right here it is. Bet your stuff's going to stick to this like white on race. It's going to be bad. It's going to be super duper sticky, I bet. That was pretty easy application. A little bit of overhang on the front, but that's all right. So, this is the ribbon cables for it. So I wonder if I can get, I'll have to dig it out. Dig out a screen. So let me flip this up again. Let's put in one and two. And you guys will bear with me for a minute. I'll see if I have a, a screen down in my spare parts area which of course is in the deepest, darkest place of my office. Here. I still have stuff in my old i3 aluminum. I don't remember if I still have the screen. I think I used the screen for the... I did use the screen. Um, all right, well, I can borrow a screen. I think I can borrow the screen off the Hypercube. It seems to be the... Oh man, it hurts my knee. Oh, that's the easiest one to access, I think. It's gonna be a pain to get it off though. All right, give me one minute. Let me see if I can. Oh, how do I even screw this thing on? Oh, the connections are under the screen. Oh. Okay, all right, fine. You're gonna be difficult. Let's be difficult. No, it's too big. Ouch. Well, there goes the screw for it. <sighs> okay. So, let's... I'm going to blindly connect these and see if I get it right. And then I need to check the power supply. What is it set to? I don't see a switch anywhere. I wonder if the switch is hidden. It's probably not automatic, right? They don't never have any automatic ones. Um, where am I at here? There's no, there's no power switch for it. Is this really a true sensing one? I'll put it in 110. It's not going to fry it if it isn't, but it's better than putting it into 220. So we're going to do it like that. Uh, I thought I set a power cable aside for this. I did. All right, let's see if we get any magic smoke here, I guess. Oh, 
that's been a little bit. Okay, nothing on display. So Still nothing on the display. I wonder if these cables are backwards. These cables are backwards. I bet you they're not going to work for this. Or what do you think the chances are this thing isn't flashed? Um... Brandonson, I don't know if you're still around. Was yours flashed? I would be so shocked if this thing doesn't even have firmware on it. Because that is just diabolical for new people. I'm getting his lines. Um, either it's not meant for this screen, which probably isn't, or um, it doesn't have a firmware on it. So, let me get a USB. God, that's annoying. That front thing is super annoying. Uh, let me get a. USB and see if I can connect to this. They had one, isn't it short though? Yeah, it's like two feet. That's useless. Uh, I got some down here, I think. Here's one. All right, so let's put you in here, you in here. Just a little bit of elbow space here. And just so you guys aren't staring at me, we'll do this. I, mean, I don't even know if it's getting enough voltage. Again, because if it's set to 220, but I didn't see a switch in there anywhere. Uh, where is Bonner face? Let's see if I can even connect to this. I don't know if it's going to launch or not. If it won't, I'll use Simplify 3D then. Right, let's go tools, machine control panel, connect. Okay, well, I was able to connect. If we go jog, home X. Okay, that worked. Home Y. 
okay, and home Z. A little afraid to do it just because it's um, not quite there. Uh, I got my finger on the emergency stop. I just randomly put this end stop on. I didn't actually like measure it like they said to do. So yeah. I can always lower the bed too, because the bed's super high right now. Like super duper high. Oh, I need to lower that front belt. We're going to have to raise that up. So let's raise up Z by 10, 20, 30. Um, let me put that right about there. Okay, now let's home Z again. I need to disable motors. I'm actually going to go ahead and lower this Z a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. Now let's hold Z again. here real quick. Again, this is all when it's um, cold, so I'll do it again once we warm up. And then it is, uh, with this print surface, you really have to be careful how close you get because you will it just absolutely bury your print into it. I need to fix this Y motor a little bit. Just smidgen too high. I'm guessing it's just not set up for this screen. It's set up for this other one, but this other one is missing the screen. So, and I can really do about that. Um, what we can do, I guess, is Start a quick, um, let's do a heat up. So let's go up to, let's do extruder up to 205 on and heated bed to 60. It's not the same type of screen. Theirs is this MKS mini thing. Um, mine is, a uh, what, the 2008 one. I'm not going to mess with the firmware right now because I just want to see if this thing actually will print. Okay, so the extruder fan is on, or the hot end fan, I should say, is on temperature. So once it passes, looks like once it passed 100C, that came on. That's the only fan. Let me check, so... 
Other fan seeds at full speed are very quiet. Oh, the extrude, uh, this is actually, this, this housing here is cracked. You guys can see this right here. Uh, you can't because it's too far out, but like the actual plastic housing is cracked. That's another kind of meh thing. Let me turn this off. Um, let me get, I have a stand right here. This any cubic stand has come in so much use over the years of having it. It's quite amazing. Um, I didn't put this on the top. I don't know if I will. I would kind of just like to let it be loose. Loosey goosey. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I got to figure out this and I need some filament. Oh, I just did do a filament review today. Let's do, let's do the blue here. It's a good quality filament from filament one. I'm going to, so we're going to move Z up, and then we're going to tell it to extrude, oh, that's fine, um, extrude 10, another 10, another 10. There it comes. Hot dog. All right. So let's do. Um, oh, what are we gonna do here? Let me find a file real quick to print. What am I saying? Well, like the. There's probably something on the SD card. I really just don't care. I think we'll do a Marvin because Marvin's pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to see if I can set up this printer in um, your systems. I wonder if it's in well, yeah, the trench, the i3 in here. I'll just use that one for now, I guess. I'll just leave it all on default, and I'm going to print over USB. So let's, whoops, sorry, I went a little janky there. Oh, and of course now it's loose. No, stop. A little too close at, uh, a little too far at first, but made a little bit closer now. It is loud. You guys can hear it. Those A4988 drivers. Come on. Sources on the SD card. Oh, okay. Where's that at? Let's see if I can. Oh man, well I can't do it on that knee. That knee hurts. Uh, oh, Marlin.zip.
Thanks, Brandon. But I do wonder, um, what's the what's the setting again for the um, for this LCD? And why is Extracted. I'm looking at the firmware I'm trying to pull it up now, but I got to figure out how to enable the uh, my LCD screen. language is English. SD card supports enabled. How do I change what LCD it's using? Does anybody know that? I mean, the LCD is enabled, but it's not working. I mean, this uh, seems to be working so far. The, the cooling fans are very quiet, actually, compared to a lot of other... I mean, they're, they're pushing quite a bit of air. You can feel it. But uh, I'm actually quite surprised at how quiet they are in comparison to a lot of the other entry-level printers. Oh, the LEDs on this, this board are so... Like, look, like, if you look... Under here, where are we at here? Like under here, it looks like it's on like fire, but just because of those LEDs. I have some 2100, um, some 2208s I'll probably throw on it. Um, but I, I, I gotta get this, this LCD working. I mean, it says define display chipset HD something Japanese. I don't think that's right.
Uh, I'm I'm in the config dot h. Is this so? I don't. I never remember which one this is. So there's the I2C and shift register. There's the graphics ones. Oh, it's the discount. Oh, no, right? No, it's not. That's the full graphics one, right? Which one I have? Maybe this one here. All right, I'll just do that one. All right, and I'll upload this one. So let me just uh, verify that it's good. I can lighten this up a little bit. There, that's a little bit better to see. Sorry about that. I'm also change up. Well, no, I don't do that chain. There we go. That'd be a little bit better. Hey, thanks for the dollar. I appreciate it. The thing I don't like about this is you can't really, I can't like set my focus point via the thing now. All right, well, I'm going to let this print. I'm going to grab a quick snack, guys, because I am starving here. Oh. All right.
Yeah, I just found that one, uh, Gunner. That's the one I set it to. So I'm just waiting for this to finish, and I'll upload and see if I can get it working. So you know how like Linus has a beef jerky company to sponsor his videos. I want I want Wild Bills to sponsor my videos because their beef jerky is the best thing ever. It'll be a happy day. Looking pretty good so far. See, I've got some twenty two eight sitting around here, right? These are 2208s. Yep. Yeah, I'll slap those on after this. We'll see if I can get the screen working, and since I'm in the firmware already. Whoa, you're out of focus. Focus. Hey, Jimmy. Yes, sir, it is alive. I'm doing a little uh, Marvin Martian right now. We're almost done. I don't know why my I don't know why he's buffering guys. I'm sorry about that. My internet's kind of on the fritz today, I guess. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good, Jimmy. How about you? Just been I just got back from vacation, so I'm kind of like diving back into things now. Uh, this is my first live stream since coming back. I need to get back on track with Editing and filming. Well, I've been filming. It's just not editing. Editing is like the worst thing in the world to do. Anyone that does this knows that editing is not fun. Did you get this, Jimmy? I don't know if uh, they sent it to you or not. You're just getting home from work now? Dang, dude. It's late. Did you get it? Did everything work out well for you? I've been really slacking on catching up on, on other YouTubers' content. I try and watch, but it's been... Uh... Oh, interesting. I'll be right back.
All right, sorry about that, guys. This light bulb in the baby's room was clicking, so I went and pulled it out. It might have been a bad bulb, so we're just gonna call it a bad bulb. Now my wife won't be so worried. Okay. Oh, Brandon, cool. Oh, Jimmy, if you're still here, did you have any problems with your build? Uh, because um, I had a few missing screws. My LCD screen is, let me see if I can you get a kick out of this. Uh, the LCD screen is missing. The ribbon cable here is ripped, and the LCD is absolutely missing. So uh, I'm going to reload the firmware with the actual LCD settings so I can get my, LC my sp spare one working. And of course, I'm out of Pepsi now, too. Pepsi and um, Wild Bills. That's what we could do. Call me, guys. <laughs> Yeah, mine looks straight. I mean, I have the uh, I have these brackets here pretty tight, so as long as the motor can keep up with everything. Yeah, so X is not really warm. Z is fine. Y is a little warm. It's that big motor though. Oh, and Jimmy, where did you put the big motor? You and Brandon, where did you guys put the big motor? There were three small motors. And one big motor. You put on Z. <laughs> Beef motor for Y, okay. And then, Jimmy, you put yours on Z. Well, when I looked at the instructions, the it was with the Y bracket in the picture, so I changed it and put it with the Y. Or oh, the TiVo approved build video says Y. Okay, that's, excuse me, that's good to know. I um I have no idea where I'm gonna put this printer. I need to get rid of some soon. <laughs> I guess yeah, if I'm looking at my at my tornado, the tornado does have a pretty beefy Y, but it's a big bed though, so yeah. You know, Either way. All right, we are getting. All right, we have six minutes left on this print. It's looking pretty good so far. I think once I throw some 2208s in there, it might be a little bit better. I 
Actually, I'll do that in the firmware right now. Oh, that did, oh it didn't. Uh, please select no more than one LCD controller. Crap, okay. So which one did they have selected? I don't see any one that they have selected. Ah, MKS Mini, there it is. So, whack whack. Verify that again. Let's see if that fixed it. Like we might be verified. Yep, it compiled. Okay, let's do it. One last time. To see the first, it's um. I mean, when you're right down beside it, you can see it. Um, the Y belt. I thought the X belt was a little more difficult than the Y, to be honest. Um, Y wasn't horrible. I have to say, the way they mounted this extrude, I'm just kind of like in awe of it right now. Like, just it's very interesting how they did that because it's very uh, Delta style, where Deltas have like the hole in the top, you use the four um, screw holes to mount the Delta to it. Very interesting, very different, honestly. Mine's cracked though. I need to. When I tell them to send me a new LCD, I'm gonna tell them to send me a new housing as well. And this, I mean, the the plastic or the. The sheet metal for the front faceplate is interesting. I do like that it is using a full-size SD card, if mine ever gets to work. So... There's a BL touch mount built in. Oh, is that what the two holes in the back for are? Can't see how you do a BL touch. You'd have no way to adjust it. I'm more interested in how fast can you get this thing to print because they have it set up with a volcano-style nozzle. I honestly, I'm getting really tired of ABL. Like it's great for like the big printers, but these little printers, if you can't level the bed, then I don't know. 
You should be able to level the bed on such a small printer. No, this is, this is aluminum bed. There's no glass. No, this this is a sticker that I just put on straight onto an aluminum bed. See, but Gunner, my printers, they don't move really, so they're always level. The very few times do I have to re-level a bed or make any adjustments. Like the Anycubic i3 Mega, I leveled that at least six or eight months ago, and I haven't touched it since. Not even any little adjustments. It's fake tech. Boom, there it is. Wow. For zero tuning on my uh, slicer, first layer's a little bit janky because I had to adjust that, but come here for a second. What were you? Here, no, come this way. There we go. So, can you focus? There we go. All right, so here is Marvin the Martian. Look at that. That's actually not a bad Martian whatsoever. Like I said, down here is a little bit janky just because I had to uh, adjust the first layer while it was starting. But other than that, it's actually pretty good. Did pretty good on the eyes. His little top of his helmet there was good. The the keychain part came out like perfect actually. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. So all right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna disconnect. Supply 3D. And now I'm going to hold on five. Upload this new firmware. And I'm gonna it also has the change in there for the 228 drivers. I'm gonna swap those out real quick. I got how long are we going on the stream now? We go in a while. We're three and a half hours. That's alright. We're doing alright. Does the extruder look any different from the Tornado's clone Titan? Um, it is a little bit different. It's more of a clean one. Uh, and like also the old in the Tornado, that's actually it's an E3D clone. It says it made by E3D. This one actually says made by TiVo. And it has their logo on it. So that is different. Hey, look at that, look at that, look at that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got it, I got it, I got it. Where are we at here? You guys can't see because I have the exposure way high. No, don't focus, don't focus on that. Focus on this. Can you see it? You cannot see it yet. There, there, look, look, look. We have it. Tarantula Pro ready. Hot dog. All right. It turns the right way, too. Give me this knob. Ugh. Put the knob on here. I like it. Well, it's not really spare. I stole it off of the uh, um, Hypercube. So, um, so let me lighten this back up. Let's zoom out here. I gotta fix this camera again. I need to get a better like camera arm. I'm using a mic stand right now and it's just annoying as all get out. Because I twist it. Mm. 
I just need to get like a real ball head mount that's not janky. Oh, hey ball. Okay, so we're going to shut this down. Disconnect that. There's some space here. We're going to tilt this up. And I'm going to put in some 22.8 drivers now. So, there's X. And Y. And those already should be tuned because they came from another printer before when I was working on it. So now, if I do prepare, I do auto home. Oh man, that's much better. Holy cow, that's better. I only did X and Y, I don't need to do Z. All right, I'm going to slice something else on here. So let's switch to this. Dude, I've had a Hypercube forever. Did you not see any of the build videos? I think it was a long time ago. All right, let's, let's get a Benchy going in here. Test stuff. We need Benchy. Save this Benchy out to the SD card if I can get to it. Oh, actually, I'm going to do their SD card because the other one's my Hypercube one. Save. it is so I'm just going to confirm that this I can get this to print and then we'll probably end the stream with a little Q&A and then I'll be done here print 3D Benchy heating up boom this filament one filament is actually pretty fantastic too so pretty happy with it ah oh. Oh, you're talking to Brandon. Oh. Yeah, I really wanted to build a great big hypercube, and my wife told me I could when we moved here if we had the space. Well, as you can see from my tiny office, which I can touch printer to printer, I don't have the space. Uh, and then John at Folger Tech released the FT6, and I was like, oh my god, that looks amazing. Uh, but again, I have nowhere to put it. I barely have enough storage for printers coming in and uh, filament. So I think I'm just going to do some final reviews on a couple of these printers that I haven't really like done a full review on. And I'm just going to donate them to my kid's school or to a makerspace here, I think. Haven't really decided yet, but I'm going to drop like half of them, I think. Because the AlphaWise U20 is just not working for me. I don't know. Uh, I cannot get that to work with the um, Volcano Nozzle. The Tornado actually just started giving me problems before I went on vacation. But the Ender 3, i3 Mega, both CR10s, 
my Prusa i3 Mark III's, the GTEC A10, have all been like my daily drivers lately. So, how tall am I? I am just shy of six foot, like five, eleven, and three quarters. So my wingspan is just shy of six foot. So from rack to rack is about six foot two inches. If I really stretch, I can almost do it. Yeah, like six foot two inches is my actual walking space. The racks are 20 inches deep. I think they're 20 inches from the wall. All right, bed's heated up. That took two minutes to heat the bed up to 60. Now it's heating up the hot end. My ceiling, oh yeah, my ceiling is uh, 10 foot, I think. Because six foot to here, no, it's eight foot ceiling. Yeah, because it's, no, it's, I'm sorry, I'm six foot. My reach takes me up to about eight. Yeah, it's about 10, 10 foot ceilings. It's not too bad. I love this, this like background here, but my wife says it's too busy. So I actually, I took a bunch of prints out. I got rid of some stuff. I gave some things away. Um, but I'm going to try and declutter this more. It's just this right here is my working area. Like this is all review filament here. It needs done. This is all review filament needs done. This is all personal filament up there. And then this is all my airbrush. Uh, I did get a roll of Prusamin in. And then I have the maker boxes that need done. I have Mondo boxes that need done. I think I have like 15 rolls of filament that need to be reviewed. Let me just watch this real quick, make sure the leveling is okay. So I'm doing a benchy now. I'll switch, you guys can watch that. I guess I'll just zoom it in here. Um, it is organized chaos, but the wife doesn't like it. She's like, you need to make that a little more organized. I'm like, all right, dear. I'm tracking. She kind of keeps me in check with things. Um, but yeah, and then like current projects, current filament reviews, things like that all end up piling up back here and then just stuff between all the printers ends up piling up. So yeah, I think I need to get rid of some stuff, make some space, but like nerdy, man, that dude has, I was talking to him on Twitter. He's got 110 printers. Holy crap. I mean, he also does like a, a, a printer review every week it seems like um where i do one a month if i'm lucky and some companies are getting a little picky as well so that's kind of getting annoying they kind of expect things from me um uh nerdy he, because he, he is, he's moving. He's the dude with the bus. He said he has 110. Or Neary's. Yeah, Neary's, Nerdy's, Tomato, Tomato. That is so much quieter. The fan is now, the fans are now like stupid loud compared to it. Do you hear? Do you hear the fan going? Well, the printer is almost dead silent. Yeah, it's almost dead silent now. You just hear the echoing because this is like a hollow plastic table.
this wasn't too bad of a build. So I mean, it took about what two and a half, almost three hours to build with issues. So that was that. What just happened? Did I just screw it up? Whatever I did, I paused it. So I'm not going to do that again. Um, what was I saying, though? For a beginner, this would be a really hard build if you had problems. You know, like I had to try and figure some things out. The directions are, wow. I've had some bad directions before. This took the cake, honestly. Absolute worst directions of any printer I've ever touched. And I've done over 20 printers now. Or I have over 20 printers that I've worked on. And by far the worst. The GTEC i3 Lumen had better than this thing. <laughs> I mean, I do think, though, this this is probably a little more friendlier than the original TiVo Tarantula. I will say that. Um, it looks a lot sleeker. It is a very different design because... Well, not very different, but it's fairly different because of how far back on the, on the Y the uprights are. They're really far back. Like Most of them, it's usually like the 60% mark. This is like 90% back on the Y is where the upright is for the Z, which is very different than most printers. So that's an interesting thing. Again, no spool holder, that sucks. Ungreased um, rod, that sucks, I don't like that either. Um, I don't like the way that the connections are on the back, I don't like how you're crossing the bed and the um, extruder, I don't like that, they should be separated better. There is another hookup here, for something, I don't know what. Uh, maybe Jimmy or Brandon knows what that other hookup is in the back. There is no, there is nothing about wiring in the directions. That's another reason why it's so bad. Absolutely not a single thing about wiring in the directions. So that's not cool. Uh, I don't like how the cables are routed on it. It's kind of super jank. Like I said, I have some tubing and some cable wrap that I might go ahead and just wrap these. I have them all zip tied right now, um, but I think that might be a, a better option to do. And I might reverse these, the pinouts in the back on those so they're not hooked up over. So do they sell a, a BL touch that just plugs right into there? Because no one's going to have those plugs at home. So it's kind of stupid in my opinion unless they're making you want it to buy from them. So the drivers thing, drivers are coming down in price. So you gotta figure, you, I got the 2208s for about six bucks a piece on AliExpress. Them buying it in bulk, they can get it for what? A dollar or two a piece? Where the A4988s, they're probably getting them for pennies a piece. So, I mean, you got to realize these Chinese manufacturers are trying to make every penny they can from this. So I understand why they don't do it, but at the same time, I wish they would just bite the bullet and not make that extra dollar or two off the kit and put them in. That would be nice. And it's only two. You only need it for X and Y. Z doesn't need it and extruder doesn't need it. So I think that should be a, a pretty easy thing to do. Or that should at least become like normal maybe yeah they're gonna sell a kit because that's the only way you can get it plugged into that well this pro model goes for what like just over 200 bucks something like that Where the original goes for like 180, so it's really not that much more expensive. I bet I think the build quality is better. Um, if the LCD would have worked, having that integrated, having this all as one piece, 
having all the wires hidden, like that's kind of worth it because the original TiVo is just like the Forge Tech 2020 i3. Like it's really not a safe printer because the brains are completely exposed on the outside frame. Like there's nothing to hide it or anything like that. So it's really not that safe of a printer when you think about it. When you have, you have mains and 12 volt wires fully exposed. So it's really, really not that safe. This is just clipping along. I'm loving the, the two different drivers in it. 219 on Banggood. All right. I do have a link down in the video description. So, yeah. If you guys want to try this out, there's a link in the video description for where you can buy this on Banggood. Banggood takes me about... Um, well, it takes about a month for me to get stuff from Banggood and Gearbest. I'm okay with waiting. But I think in the States, you can get it a little bit faster, two weeks maybe. So personally, it doesn't bug me. So I got the, so this is the WoW stick. This is what I was using on the stream today for uh, screwing in everything. Comes with a whole bunch of bits. I liked it. I think it worked out pretty well for at least the initial, like, just getting the screws in. Uh, it doesn't really have a whole lot of driving power behind it. But I also think that's okay because that's not really what it's um, for the price. It's not really what it was for. No, I get Amazon in a couple weeks. Usually it takes me one to two weeks to get stuff from Amazon. It's not that bad. And the kit, is, this little kit's not that bad. It's just the way these go in are not very sturdy. Where's that last bit at right here? This gets put away. Forty-eight hours. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Like I said, usually it's it's not that slow. It really isn't for most people. Just for me, it's a little slower, but I'm okay with that. But you do, I do save quite a bit of money for something because, again, like getting one of these automatic screwdrivers on Amazon, like the Sandy Smart one, um, which I actually reached out to them to see if they would send me one to use on the channel, and they said they didn't need anybody. I was like, okay, fine, I'll go buy one and give props to their stuff, but I'm not going to spend $100 on that, even though I know Joe Mike likes it. If it's a better driver, then maybe it's worth it, but right now it's not for me. All right, Brandon, you take it easy. I'm going to be done here in a few minutes. Just wrapping things up. It's almost one in the morning, so I'd like to get done here soon. Oh yeah, congrats on the new job, man. Enjoy it. Let us know in uh, Discord how it is. I think I'm down to like the 10 core people that watch. Although my tracker says 18 and Discord says 10, so I don't know. We're down to the final few at the end of the long saga stream. Oh, I haven't noticed that, Gunner. I order from them probably once every four or five months. I'll go on there and I'll, I'll try and find some a deal on something that looks like it might be good to try out. Like I said, this time was the, the screwdriver sets that I tried out. Let me clean up my workspace here a little bit so I don't have to do it in the morning. 
And Benji is 22% done. Oh, sale count, that's funny. Yeah, man, these, these directions were pretty crummy, my goodness. Well, we did have success tonight. Not complete success, but moderate success, we'll call it. I was hoping a little bit better from TiVo, especially after having the tornado be such a, a epic machine for me. Um, I was hoping a little bit better for this, but in the end, it is working. We're just kind of working around a little bit. So I'm going to call it there. It's been, we're going on just shy of four hours now. Uh, it's been a long stream. It's been a long night. So thank you to everybody who hung out. Thank you for all of you that helped me out in the chat. That was super helpful. Uh, I like when we get some people in here can kind of help me out if I have any issues. Uh, it's really good to have a good community to kind of help fill in the gaps when I have them. So other people have already built this. I had to wait a little bit later just because of vacation. Uh, I wanted to be one of the early ones to do this, but that's okay. It happens. If you guys want to stay in tune and see like how this turns out and things like that, I will probably tweet a picture, if not later tonight, because it's probably going to take another hour to finish, just over an hour to print total. Um, but I'll put some tweets and Instagram out in the morning with how this Benchy turns out, and I'll start doing more prints on this. I'll do some projects with this as well. So you guys can see if you want to try it out. If you do want to try it out, there is a Banggood link. They're the ones that send it to me. So for the first while, I'm just going to have that be the affiliate link down there. But you can use my other affiliate links to search it on GearBest or um, Amazon. And you can buy from there as well. I'm just going to leave the direct link down there just to, just to kind of give back to them for sending it to me. As TiVo would not do that. Because I have to get at least 5,000 views per video for them to even consider you. Which is funny because they sent me the tornado, but now they've changed their policy again. Anyways, uh, so yeah, so be a, become a subscriber. I'm going to get back to put out more videos. So tomorrow I'll hopefully have one out. Then i got to get back to editing and start getting videos flowing again, which I hope will happen soon. And you guys can see more content from me. Uh, I think that's going to be it. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you all next time.